you want to become or improve your skills as a writer, Stephen King's On Writing is a pretty good place to start, to be honest. So I read it for the first time uh, just over a month ago. So published back in 2000, uh, Stephen King's On Writing sort of dives into his journey and path in becoming a writer and it digs into some valuable insights as well as to what he's learned along the way. And I think that in and on of itself can give you a lot of key insight, whether you are um, an existing writer or you're just starting out or if it's even something you're considering that you want to try. I think it's quite a good place just to start to hone your skills. Uh, what I find mainly with a lot of non-fiction books is, at least in terms of the story, uh, not this isn't for every single non-fiction book, but sometimes they can be a bit dry. Yes, they might give you a lot of key insights, uh, might help you solve a particular problem or increase skills somewhere, or maybe change your point of view, but I was thinking in some cases how they actually showcase the story can be a little bit dry, but on writing is completely different. It's not really the case. I even find just reading from it Tiny bit slow to start with in my personal opinion, but once I got into it, I just found it very, very interesting. And it's one of those books I could just read from start to end. And honestly, even just without the key insights, I still really enjoyed the book itself. And then, I guess, this isn't really a review as such. I really just wanted to share one of my main takeaways from reading it. And really just to see... if. Yeah, if you're a writer, I do think it is worth your time reading, to be honest. And if you have read already, um, just let me know what you have taken from it and what your thoughts are below. So one of the main ones, although it, in a lot of ways it sounds very simple, and it almost sounds like, well, of course, is in one of the chapters he was saying, you know, if you want to become a writer, if you want to become a great writer, there are really just two things you need to do. It's both write consistently and read a lot of books. And although on the surface when I first heard it, I thought, well, I mean, that's pretty obvious. But by reading through his book, understanding and going through his journey, it's not something that just happens overnight. It's not a quick one-time thing. It's not like an overnight thing. It's years upon years of just consistently writing, trying to get better, reading, understanding from other authors understanding what makes a good book good, what makes a bad book bad, learning from it. Like, why didn't I like this book? Why did I like this book? What have they done? Can I take something or learn something from that? So I guess something that's really struck me and sort of changed my approach is just trying to write more consistently and both read more consistently. I'm just, just trying to enjoy the process, understanding that it's not something that will happen overnight if you want to write a book it's not going to just happen within a couple of months it could take years it could take a decade it's just understanding that you know this this is a long path and you can just grow and improve by both writing and reading it sounds so simple but at the same time it's actually quite difficult because it's something you have to just consistently try to do there's going to be times where you might want to give up or you think it's maybe not working out or with it just being a longer process, it's just trying to enjoy that while you're learning and growing. So that for me is just pivotal, I think, what I've taken from the book. it's Again, it sounds simple, but it's something that's just really starting to help me. And I know it's a book that I'm gonna go back and read again. If you wanna be a writer, you must do two things above all, and that was to read a lot and write a lot, and that just one thing just stuck out with me. I know there's, there's a lot of other, like insights throughout the book about trying to push through your own self-doubt i remember there's like one little section where um i think he was writing carrie and probably like in the early drafts he wasn't 100 percent sure about it he felt like it was awful or it just didn't work and he ended up chucking it in the bin his wife ended up like picking it out reading through it and just telling him that she think he had something within there it needed work or maybe needed tweaking but she felt like he was really on to something with it that ended up being like wildly successful but it's crazy to think at one point he was literally going to throw it in the bin he's going to throw it in the towel he just thought this just isn't working he doesn't feel it and it ended up with just a lot more work a lot more improvements and just pushing through it and ultimately another little snippet in there it's just the support of others because I think he mentioned it as well, 
in the book, it can be quite a solitary uh, journey on your own. So even having the support of your partner, friends, family, things like that can really just help push you through. And it ultimately did it for him. So I know that's a bit of a short wraparound, not really a typical review, but I personally really enjoyed the book. It's very sort of changing my perspective on things and almost relaxing me a bit in terms of just understanding, just to try and enjoy it as I go along. And if what happens might happen, it might not. Um, I'm just sort of, I try to focus more on just writing consistently, reading more. And to be honest, it's something I'd recommend if you're considering becoming a writer, if it's a, something you're vaguely interested in, or maybe you've just started and you don't know where to go next, or you may feel overwhelmed. And even if you're an existing writer, maybe if you've even read a couple of books, I don't really see the harm in learning from someone as experienced as Stephen King, whether you're into his novels or not. Um, so I really appreciate you watching, and I hope to see you in the next one.